What's up traders, Matt here from the Trade Brigade and I wanna offer you three different tips and tricks to help you improve the speed and efficiency of the Thinkorswim app. The first thing we're gonna do is adjust and allocate the correct amount of memory to the platform itself by clicking on the gear icon here in the lower left-hand corner of the login screen. At the very bottom, you'll notice we have memory usage. Now this is largely gonna depend on how much RAM your particular computer has, so please reference the guidelines on the screen as a starting point and then tweak from there. For me, I'm running 32 gigs of RAM. On the low end, I keep it at 1024, and on the high end, up around 6144. Now by no means is that maxed out for my specific settings. However, I found that it's the sweet spot for me. It allows me to also run some background tasks without too much lag there. I will say that if you're going to run multiple screens of think or swim, you definitely should increase your memory usage because you'll be asking more from the platform. So it will require a little bit more power and beef from your system itself. Once you've got that dialed in, go ahead and click save and of course log into the platform where we will be adjusting the rest of the settings from within. The first one, it's a little bit of a shame that Thinkorswim doesn't hook us up right out of the box by default with the best quote speed available. If you've never gone into this menu before and adjusted your quote speed to real time, this is how you do it. Go ahead and navigate to the gear icon with the word setup next to it. Go to application settings, and in this new pop-up, I want you to navigate on the left-hand sidebar to system. When you go into system, if you've never been here before, you may notice that your quote speed is saying something like moderate. And if we go in, we'll notice moderate is the default. You're actually getting a three second delay, which is no bueno if you're trying to be a day trader, an intraday trader taking, you know, trades that last anywhere from 30 seconds all the way up to about a half hour. We of course want to have that on real time with no delay. So we're getting the best data available. Go ahead and apply those settings. The next thing we'll talk about is in the trade tab, if we go to the active trader, I always want you to be trading in a window on its own for the active trader tab. So this is going to be sort of a default if we're trading options, right? We need to load that in its own window here. So our option will by default have to be in its own pane. But if you're someone who's trading stocks on companies, ETFs, you name it, it's much more efficient to trade SPY here in this ladder on the active trader, as opposed to running a single pane, something like this, and turning this active trader on. Now you may be saying, why is that? It shouldn't be any different. Well, it is. We're technically trying to make this one pane do three things. We have a chart, we have an active trader, and we have level twos, right? So the more things you load into one cell, the more strain you're putting on that one thing to do a number of different tasks. So it's always better to load that up in its own sort of window here. So we'll type in spy there. And now we have our own ladder specifically dedicated to spy. We can turn this off. And again, if you're trading options, it's sort of a requirement that you paste the options code into a separate window anyways. Otherwise your chart would not correlate at all, right? So the last thing I'll give you a little bit of an extra bonus here. If you navigate to the help tab up here in the top uh, right hand part of the entire uh, menu bar, go to system. Okay. When you go into system, you're presented with this kind of funky looking screen. But what I'll say about this is if you're ever experiencing lag and you know, the platform was running fine all morning and all of a sudden it's bogging down, go ahead and check in on your free memory here in the top right hand corner. If it's anything less than 500,000, go ahead and click collect garbage and watch what happens to this number here. You'll notice that it rebounds up to about 800,000 and it's constantly in a state of decay. So it will be going lower and lower unless you know, you're not doing anything in the platform and it's kind of in the background, then it'll hover and stay about flat. But if it's ever decaying more than 500K, go ahead and collect the garbage. Now, if it doesn't fix your lag, it's not the end all be all. You may have to reset the platform by logging out, reloading it and logging back in. Those are all the tips I've got for you today. If you enjoyed the video or learned anything new, feel free to let me know down below in the comments section or by simply leaving the video a thumbs up.